As temperatures drop, we wanted to find out about the risks linked to heating your home. Our Brandon Truitt is live tonight outside Greenville Fire Rescue Headquarters. And Brandon, you have a lot of tips that could save people's lives. Well, Ken and Shayla, after we learned that propane tank had just been filled this morning, we wanted to see what could be done to try to keep this from happening to you. Of course, as these colder temperatures become more common, so will your use of some type of heating supply. Greenville Fire Rescue says space heaters cause roughly 32% of home heating fires. They recommend you keep those heaters at least three feet away from any objects. Also, only plug one space heater into one outlet or power strip at a time. Now, we know this incident in Fairfield Harbor was fueled by a full propane tank. And I spoke with Lieutenant Jeremy Anderson, who says there are easy steps to take toward prevention. All fuel fired heaters need to be vent vented in some, some way, shape, or form. So, as long as we're using proper ventilation, um, and that carbon monoxide detector will let you know if you're not properly vented, it'll give you that heads up to say, hey, you know, something's not right. I need to have this thing checked out. Anderson says you also should avoid using gas powered stoves or an oven to heat your home. It's not only incredibly dangerous, but can serve as a burn hazard for young children. Another tip is to make sure a professional business comes out and checks a propane tank, maybe outside of your home. They would be able to check to see if anything's wrong or a possible leak. If you feel like you're having a hard time finding a business you trust, the Better Business Bureau of North Carolina has a website where you can search any business. They give a grade for that business, so you'd be able to. To feel comfortable in a decision that you make. Live in Greenville, Brandon Truitt, nine on your side. Brandon, thank you.